Vlogmas day 16. It is indeed Friday the 16th of December. We are now down to nine days until Christmas and I do have to make an apology. I, as you all will know if you've been watching these vlogs, had to go over to Rach today to go and see the girls at her temps and I was meant to take you guys along with me but oops, sorry. Basically, once I got onto the bus to get to Reddit, it was literally rammed with old people. Lots and lots of old people. And it was bad enough they were giving me iffy stares as it was. I do not know why. It is not like, like, like I look like Riff Raff. I think if I'd pulled my phone out and started recording on the bus, I think they might have just thought, nutball on the loose. So... I didn't bother and then obviously once I got to Redditch I had to get straight to Per Temps because I was running late as it was because the bus was late so yeah I went straight there met with um, Sophie Colette was too busy to see me fine um so I've re-registered with them hence why I had to go over there why didn't she just tell me that on her phone I don't know but honestly obviously that's what they need me to go over re-register with them um fortunately the job that they did put me forward to, which was working in customer services, the gentleman who's, a, you know, obviously recruiting, trying to find somebody to come work for him, he won't be interviewing until at least the second week in January. So, and she said, even if they did put my name forward for any of the jobs that they've got and they've worked out, it'd probably best if I just remain looking for jobs in the Bromsgrove area because obviously getting to Redditch and whatever else she said you know it's going to, it's going to be issues there with the buses they accept that so they're going to look for work for me in Bromsgrove but if that even if that is the case most people won't be looking for people to recruit right now obviously because they're going to be all breaking up for Christmas soon so it will be more than likely in the new year so I might as well just accept the facts guys and embrace the fact that I'm having an extra long Christmas holiday break. I mean, I'm still being paid because I'm still on garden leave. I've still got two two weeks left and um, I have still no idea when I'm going to get paid. Normally we get paid on the 25th of the month, obviously because of that being Christmas Day this month. That's not going to happen. So I'm thinking, is it going to be on the 21st when they actually break up, which is a Wednesday? Or is it going to be the 23rd, which will be the closest Friday to the 25th? Other than emailing um, Paul, which is the finance manager, which I might do, I I don't know. I just I just do not know. So once I finished up her temps, I went and had a long look around the Kingfisher Centre. I went and popped into Primark where I bought a few things, not just for myself, but also for Jessica in regards to little stocking fillers. I'd also went into BM Bargains, is it? BM Bargains. And I got a few bits from there. And then I also popped into, and I haven't been into this, it's, it's like a cheap version of Iceland. It's called Farm Foods. And I haven't been in Farm Foods for about, it's got to be like 20 years or something. Oh my God, it's like, I knew I'd missed the bus. And I was like, what am I going to do to kill time? <laughs> And it was like literally the, the, before you get down the escalators to get to the bus station in the Kingfisher shopping centre, um, once I'd come out of being there in bargains, it's like the only other shop really on that level apart from the health club, which obviously I'm not going to go into, am I? So I thought, okay, I'll go and have a mooch around farm foods. You never know, you, you, you might find some things. So um, I thought, went and I did actually find some things. Whether they're going to be in a cup or not, I, I don't know. I've took that risk though. And as always, guys, I will share with you what I have bought today in Redditch. Now, as you can see, I'm still got my coat on. You know, I've been back now 10 minutes. And I wanted to start recording as soon as possible because I felt so bad for not recording anything in Redditch at all. Redditch is just not the kind of place you can walk around with your phone or your camera filming. People just look at like your weird simple as that 
they, they look at you like you're weird anyway, and that's without filming. So I don't know. Maybe it's because they're just jealous of the beauty that is before them. I I don't know. Yeah, I I've done no recording whatsoever. So I'm going to make up for it now. Hopefully, just wanted to very quickly show you what I wore today to go and meet the ladies over at Per Temps. I thought I might would like to share my outfit of the day. I decided to wear my long camel coat. Love this coat. It is so, so warm. And I believe I paid £25 for it from Asta's George range. As you can see, it comes down to my knees. But unfortunately, because I've put some chub on, I can't. I can't. I just, I, I can, I, well, I can do it all. But it's really tight across my stomach. So I tend to leave it open and I always like to wear this scarf with it. Normally it's more tucked under than out. So I tend to have it like so. And this is the scarf that I pinched off my daughter. But it is now mine because she said I can have it. So I like to wear that with it. And it keeps me even more warmer. Um... My legs, I've got my skinny jeggings, which cost £6 from Primark. These are the ones I bought last week, and these are the ones in size 14, so there's a lot. They're not as tight over the tum tum area, which is a bonus. My boots, love these boots, absolutely gorgeous boots. These are also from Primark and I believe I paid £20 for these and I just fell in love with the um, the buckles on them and the fact that the heel is big enough to give me height and add some height to my little stature that because I'm a tiny person but at the same time I can actually walk in these and I'm not actually like really uncomfortable. On the top I am wearing my Daniel Hodgeter blouse that I found in TK Maxx and I think I paid £16 for this. Underneath I'm wearing a white vest top. I can't remember how much I paid for it. I think I, pay, I found it in New Look. So it probably would have only been about between five and eight pounds at the most. But the reason why I have to wear it under my blouse is because it's quite um transparent not transparent so, yeah, it is transparent so you can basically if i didn't wear it you'd see me bra and that's just not good look it just doesn't look very classy jewelry wise i'm wearing this fake gold and fake diamond ring i think i found a he's in new look as well i think i paid two pounds for it at the most and in my ears i am wearing these gorgeous gold and fake diamond hooped earrings that I found in as this George range day where the second ones of the, those like two pairs of hooped earrings that I bought ones are silver ones that were the other day and these two other ones and if you bought both of them you've gone for five pounds so I haven't even worn these until today and they are absolutely gorgeous as you can see I have done full face makeup I even contoured as well. Hey, <laughs> wanted to make a good impression. I think I did. And my handbag was this one again that I took to my interview at the beginning of the week. This is from Primark. I believe I paid over ten or twelve pounds for it. I absolutely love this bag. It's so classy. And I've got me little fluffy ball that I got free from Superdrug that I've got attached to it. And that is my outfit of the day. Oh, I so needed tea. When I took a bottle of water with me to keep myself hydrated with, but as always, after finishing, I always crave a cup of tea when I get in. And once again, I'm drinking my Earl Grey tea that I absolutely adore. Uh, I'm not going to start showing you what I bought whilst I was out. And I think it's best if I start off with what I got from Farm Foods. Because basically there's frozen stuff in there and I really, really should get this stuff into the freezer soon. So, here is my farm food bag. Cost 2p for that bag, you know. And uh, where's my receipt so I can go for it? Okay. I spent £7.51 in there. Oh, 
It wasn't 2p, it was 5p. Oh well, never mind. Um, right, the first thing that I bought, according to this, managed to get one some to me for Sunday lunch anyway. And normally I would go and get something very similar to this from Iceland. So I saw this and it was 2 99 and I thought well, it's the same price basically as well. I'd pay at Iceland. Let's give it a go, see if it's any good. And it's it's this stuffed check-in breast joint from a company called Betty Smith's. And it's a boneless skin on chicken breast joint with added water and a chicken sage and onion stuffing. Uh, what what can I say about it? It's a it's a it's a chicken breast joint, and basically you cook this from frozen at gas mark six for an hour and a half. So there is no actual difference. I, just, I don't know who the quality is going to be. Oh, that's not it's not as it's nowhere near as big as the one I've got from Iceland. To be perfectly honest, the one from Iceland I'd normally get would actually fill the whole inside tin. But, oh well, never mind. Just don't, don't taste like shite. You can see, that's what it looks like. And once you've cooked it, you cut it open. And it's got stuffing, like, rammed in the middle. I may have to let you know on Sunday if it was any good or not. So, anyway, well, Sunday lunch sorted. Right, the second thing I picked up was this from a company called LA Diner. And it's Peri Peri Chicken. And basically, it is half a roasted chicken in a delicious hot chilli peri-peri sauce. Me and Jessica haven't had one of these in ages. Normally, I would allow her to have the chicken breast bits. And then I have to like the chicken leg. And might have to do some sweet potato fries to go with it. Definitely. Now, according to this, it was £1.99. Which is quite reasonable, really. And you obviously have to cook it from frozen. And oh, there's two ways of cooking this. One is the traditional way of oven baking it from frozen. I guess about four for 30 to 40 minutes. Or you can stick it in the microwave for eight and a half minutes. The idea of cooking chicken in a microwave does not appeal to me at all in any way or form. So I will be cooking this in the oven. And as I said, I can do some sweet potato fries with it and should be all right. I mean, what does it say in ingredients? It says chicken, half a chicken. Uh, the glaze is normal kind of like peri-peri sauce type of thing. You've got cumin, coriander, turmeric, black pepper, ginger, cinnamon, chilies in there. So that can go in the freezer and... Like I said, as long as me and Jessica have got meals in the freezer and stuff that's in that cupboard over there, that, as long as I can, you know, provide us with food to eat, to me that's just the most important thing possible because I cannot see us not having food to eat. I mean, I'm I'm making sure that the freezer's rammed and the cupboards are rammed. I mean, I have to stock up and stuff and to do with the fridge, obviously. But I've still got like a month's worth of wages still to come. So, you know, we're not going to starve. But and ideally, I do need to make that money last me once I've paid out, paid out my bills for the, for the end of the month. But I'm just going to go and get these in the microwave quickly. What I should have said was I'm now going to go and get those in the freezer. Not the microwave, the freezer. I forgot how rammed my freezer actually was i literally just had a fight with it just to get those two things in there that's it i cannot buy any more frozen products because there's just nowhere for me to keep it at all that freezer is rammed rammed i think i need some more tea better right the next thing that i put oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. this it's called Mahal Spice Madras Sauce. Looks like that. And it costs £1. And it's a Madras curry cooking sauce. Spicy curry cooking sauce with onions, tomatoes and crushed red chilies. Mmm, smells kind of, Sounds really nice. I mean, I'm not hoping it's like a proper traditional Indian curry sauce. 
and not like the ones you get in the jars at the supermarkets that pretend to be. What's it say about it? Cooking instructions, gently heat one teaspoon of oil in a pan, fry meat or seafood until lightly browned, add the sauce, simmer for 15 minutes until the meat or seafood is cooked through, or alternatively try with your choice of vegetables, serve piping hot with rice or naan bread. And um, yum, contains water, onions, tomato paste, rapeseed oil, garlic puree, ginger puree, sugar, garam masala powder, which contains coriander, cumin, cassia, black pepper, star anise, ginger, green cardamom, pimento, black cardamom, clove, grey leaves, nutmeg. It also contains modified maize starch, cumin, turmeric, dried, crushed chilies, salt, concentrated lemon juice. Uh, citric acid, ground white pepper, dried coriander leaf and dried fenugreek leaf. And literally, um, I will put that in a cupboard. Um, wow, curry sauce. So we can have a curry one night. I've got plenty of chicken breasts in the freezer already. And this is apparently hot. And we like our curries hot, do me and Jess. And luckily, because there's nothing in there that she can't have due to her celiac disease, she should be all right with this one. Next thing I picked up was this Mayflower Chinese style extra hot curry sauce, which costs 99p. Uh, it says it's a nine portion pack, two minutes simmer. I've got a little recipe on the back showing you how to make a Chinese chicken curry for two. But apparently, you whisk. Three ounces of this curry sauce mix into 12 fluid ounces of cold water and saucepan. Bring to the boil, stir in constantly and simmer for two minutes in a very low heat and serve hot. I'm going to open this. I thought I want to have a quick look at it. Oh gosh, I, did, I wasn't expecting that. This could probably last ages. Like, quite a while. I mean... Hmm... 255 grams and you meant to use 85 grams of the mix so that's what three three servings three servings i can make three lots of chinese curry sauce i mean one of the things i like about this kind of curry sauce is that this is the kind of curry sauce you would find in the chippy so if you go to the chippy and you order for some chips with some curry sauce the curry sauce is this stuff that they make up Definitely is because I can smell it emanating through. So I could I could do some chips one night and make my own curry sauce to go with it. Oh my god, that is such a mad and crazy but awesome idea. So that is definitely worth it. I mean what 99p bargain. I mean apparently I can also make this in the microwave but I won't because I, I don't tend to use the microwave for things like that. The microwave is for like I don't know baked potatoes or warming things up with but not for cooking things in it oh bugger oh shit well it screwed that one looks like i'm just gonna be up in this contains wheat flour which jess can't have oh dear that's a shame it actually states at the bottom for allergens including cereals containing gluten see ingredients involved it very clearly states wheat why has he got mustard i didn't realize mustard she couldn't have Oh, I'm confused by that now. Well, anyway, I could make myself some curry sauce by the looks of it, guys. And the final thing that I picked up, I found by their tills when I was waiting to be served, were these little, well, it was this little bag of wine gums from Maynard's Bassets. They should have been on sale for a pound, but for some reason they were only 49p, and I love wine gums. I absolutely adore wine gums, so that would be like a little treat for moi. Snack on them later when I'm watching the telly and chilling out because Jess is going to her work's Christmas dinner. They've had a work do where they've gone out partying and getting drunk, but tonight it is their Christmas dinner. And not only that, she hasn't actually been at work today, she went with her friend Sammy because Sammy is originally from South Africa. And as of today, she is now officially, and I'm very proud of her, she's now officially a British citizen. Cheese. So, yeah, she can't call herself South African anymore. But yeah, she's been anointed in as a British citizen, and that's where Jessica is. She's been with Gone with it. and I've seen the photos, and oh, 
really pleased. I mean, Sammy's like a best mate, and she's lovely. She really is. Even though she can't be a pan in the backside sometimes. But she keeps my daughter on straight and narrow. That's the main thing. I mean, actually, they both keep each other on straight and narrow. Um, they, they they might bicker and they might fight and they occasionally fall out, which is what normally friend, best friends do. But they couldn't be without each other. Okay, enough of that. So um, she should be back home about nine o'clock. So I'm just going to chill out later. Find something to watch on the telly. With not do the usual watch some screen queens episodes to watch and yeah put me wine gums always good do you know what? i just remembered i i also went into wilco's as well but um the reason why i don't know how, how did i forget about going in there i don't know but it is right anyway talk about what i got in there in a minute when i do my prime mark but the next bag i'm going to show you is my bm Bargains bag. Is it B N? No, it's B and M bargains. I thought it was. And I spent six pound fifty two in there. So it's not like I've completely blew my brains to be perfectly honest. Okay, what did I go according to R? I love these. Now normally I can buy these in our local pound lands. And they usually sell them for a pound, and once again, they were being sold for a pound. So I grabbed a couple because these are like really, really simple little things that you can like just heat up in the microwave for lunch. And I grabbed a couple because oh, I just thought it'd be worth it because I spent the like, grand total of two quid on them. And it's these pasta carbonaras. Oh, that's the second one, well. And they're from a company called Tops Cuisine. And they just cooked pasta and a cheese sauce with smoked bacon and ham. And these taste so, so nice. There's, there's nothing nasty about these at all, considering the price, in all honesty. And as I said, you just bang these in the microwave and you warm them up. And, you know, very simple and quick lunch thing to have. I found this chilli sauce. I'm just hoping Jess is going to be all right eating it. I'm going to have to put some light on the situation, guys, because I can't really, because it's going, it's a bit, a little bit dark. However, just to be doubly sure, and it's just not my eyes, that shit, and it actually may have actually been the situation. According to this, there is one ingredient in here which indicates to me that Jessica can't have this, and it contains barley. But this sauce, which is from a company called Mexican Spice... And it's a fiery hot spice cooking sauce with tomatoes, green peppers, onions and spices. Cost 49p. 49p. What? Just get out. Simples. Just get out. How did you... How, how can you possibly only be 49p? I'm going to ask Jessica to see if she wants to risk trying it. Uh, we'll face full responsibility if her stomach is really bad the next day. Um, it contains tomato puree, tomatoes, water, green peppers, pinto beans, which I would rather have in regards to kidney beans. I hate kidney beans with a passion. Modified maize starch, sugar, onions, barley, malt, vinegar, paprika, grand cumin, lactic acid, smoked paprika, chilli powder, dried oregano and black pepper. And that's just in the sauce. And up here, we've got the powder, which is the chilli spice blend, which has got chilli powder, paprika, cumin powder, salt, garlic powder, smoked paprika, black pepper, and oregano powder. Even gives you little instructions on the side to create the perfect chilli. Uh, it says adjust the method according to suit the heat level required. For mild chilli, just have a third of the spice cap. For the medium chilli, just have half a spice cap. But as I like things hot and spicy, and so does Jess, for her hot chilli, have the full spice cap. So that's what we'll be doing if she's all right to do and she wants to try this. It seems basic, obvious, simple instructions and how to use it. I've used things similar to this in the past. And as I said, for 49p, you can't really knock it. Another item that I found in there which came, well, which, which cost 49p, was this... This giant pouch of sweet corn from Green Giant. 
and it is the express microwave for salt free sweet corn which you can heat up in a minute basically you just tear along the dotted line here drain the liquid place into a microwave upright and heat for one minute leave it to stand for one minute to cool down Tear open fully, stir and serve. I've seen this in supermarket chains and these usually cost either a pound or a little bit more. Considering I only paid 49p for these, most impressed. I love meatballs, whether they're like UK kind of... Can I class them as UK or American style meatballs? No, not really. Italian style meatballs. But these ones are Swedish style meatballs and they're from the delicatessen fine eating company produced and packed in germany ready to eat hot or cold and these cost eight pounds and like there isn't any difference in them i mean it's made from pork meat breadcrumbs wheat stuff oh jessica's not eating this but then again she doesn't really like meatballs so i'm not really all that fussed i can have these to myself one night as a, as you guys may have noticed i think I don't know which vlog it was, but I did a vlog not long ago where I cooked up some meatballs in the oven, made my own pasta sauce and served it with some vermicelli pasta nests. It tasted like the tits. So I can have a go at recreating that meal one night. Definitely. And once again, very impressed with the price because even they were only a pound. The only thing that's not impressing me is the heating instructions on the back. Place outer packaging and remove outer packaging and place contact into a microwave or plate. Heat for 60 seconds. I am not heating those in microwave. They will go in the oven. Well, if not, because apparently you can eat these cold. I'll make up the sauce and then bang them into the sauce and let the sauce heat them up that way because microwave no just no especially no just no and the last lot of things i found in b&m bargains were these tea towels which as you can see are christmas tea towels they cost two pound 49 and you get four of them so you got two of them let me just take this out of packaging off so you can at least see them a little bit better you got two of them that look like this design which says Merry Christmas, Season Greetings, Noel. Apparently, I mean, according to it, it says the super solvent. That one doesn't really feel like the best quality in the world, but they're pretty and the festive, so it'd be nice like to have in the kitchen at Christmas. So I do have to admit, I prefer my ones from Primark because they just. They're, just, they're the tits as far as I'm concerned and then you've got some plain green ones which once again like I said don't feel brilliant but you know they're only for Christmas and they didn't cost a great deal of money really and you know I needed cheering up when I saw those and I went oh these are so Christmassy like so I got them I must finish too before it goes completely cold. Oh, done. Right. I can now move on to my final bag, which is my Primark bag. And within this bag, we have stuff from Primark. And we also have stuff from Wilco's. Because I forgot I went in there. And once again, I didn't really spend loads of money, which is really weird for me, especially in regards to Primark. But I'm going to show you firstly what I bought from Wilco's. There was only a couple of items that I got from there. To be perfectly honest, their Wilco's did not impress me in the least at all. I actually prefer the one in Droitwich. So, if I ever do require to get anything from Wilco's from now on, I will go to the one in Droitwich because the Redditch one sucked. I needed to get a Christmas card for my daughter. And I hadn't come across one yet anywhere. Now I've got one for her. Here it is. And as you can see, it only cost a pound as well, which I thought was pretty decent price, to be perfectly honest. And it says, daughter. It's got a nice Christmassy pattern on it with a little red robin sat on the H. 
bit of holly stuff going on they've got some little christmas balls hanging from there and then you open it up because obviously you can see the quotation is like that little window there and you open it up and it says wishing you a christmas filled with love and laughter and you know because it was only a quid not bad it comes with a nice red envelope for me to put it into and then hide away from her so she doesn't know i got it her so got that and then i came across this is the Chris fruit cracker trio now i'd already got her some back bombs from the one in Drewich, and they hadn't got none none at all so i couldn't get any more which really pissed me off to be perfectly honest guys I was not impressed at all. Hence why from now on I'll just go to the one and draw it which <clears throat> and this is a trio set of goodies. It's a white winter berries fragrance explosion. As you can see it comes looking like a cracker. You've got some nice fancy black ribbon with red writing on it. And it says in the back, treat yourself to an indulgence winter berries trio. A gorgeous collection that will leave your skin feeling wonderfully clean and refreshed. So go on, free the fragrance. It contains a body butter, a body scrub and some bath salts. And this costs me £2.50. So another little stocking full of fora. And that's it, that's all I got from there. So I paid £3.50 in there for them two goodies. I was served by Olivia. I like it when you get the name of the person who served you. It just makes it a bit more personal. And I don't know, I suppose if you've got any issues, you can always go back to the store and go, look, we were served by such and such. I hope that they remember you. But nine times out of ten, I guess they wouldn't because, you know, they must get through like millions of people every week. So they're not going to recognise me, are they? Well, I'm now going to move on to what I got from Primark, and you guys will actually be quite shocked by the little amount of money I spent in there. Even I'm kind of like dumbfounded myself. I spent the grand total of £8.50. £8.50! <laughs> this is me, guys. £8.50. Okay, I'm really impressed, right? The first thing I found it, because as I said, I was only literally looking for things for Jessica. And as we all know, or as you may have gathered, uh, she loves pubs. She does. She loves pubs. And I won't let her have one. But I come across this travel mug. And look, he's got a puggy pug pug on there. And he says, Merry Pugmas. And I've already got one of these travel mugs. Obviously not in this design. But it's silver and glittery. And he got a pug pug on there. And... I think she'll like that. That cost me three pounds, and she can fill it with her tea in the morning. Take it with her to walk, work when she's walking and drink it at the same time. But I, I couldn't resist it. I had to get her that. And I also came across this candle. Now I can't make out whether it's a pug or if it's a little American bulldog. It may even be a savageable terrier for all I know. <laughs> but I, I thought, oh, you you're cute. I, I want you. You come home with me. And it's um it's a little dog shaped candle. I don't know if you can see them for the packaging. Because the glare of the lights is like distorting it. But can you see him? How cute to see. And obviously you've got the wick on the top of his head. If you can see it right there. And this is an unscented candle, so he doesn't smell of dog, which is good. Doesn't smell of anything, to be perfectly honest. I mean, it, she may not want to burn it. She may want to keep him and treasure him for the rest of her life. I don't know, and I don't care, because it only costs two quid. He's it, cute. He, he is. I just wish I could make out what he is. I, I just can't at all. And it's really frustrating me, guys, but oh well. I'm sure she'll appreciate it. And the final thing I'm going to show you is for me. I didn't really intend to get myself anything, but this was like £3. Oh, I must have read that wrong. So that was £3.50. 
this was three pounds and I've got this for me and I don't care. I'm going to wrap it up for myself to open on Christmas Day. So it's a present from Sam to Sam. And it's this cute little handbag. Normally when I buy handbags, I go for the massive ones. Now I've bought myself that lunch bag, you know, I, I want to start buying myself small handbags now. So I don't have to carry loads of stuff with me all the time in big bags. I can put my lunch into my little lunch bag and put all my little essentials into these bags because I've got another one so upstairs that's about this size as well. But I couldn't believe it for £3. That is just like amazing. I loved the pattern to begin with anyway. And I just hate catching stuff inside it out. So as you can see, you know, it's it's not huge, but there's enough room for me to put my purse and my phone and my keys and my paper. So enough rubbish in there. Got a little pocket inside as well. So if I wanted to hide a lipstick in there, I, I could with my mirror. And we got a little strappy strappy handle thing here that I can put over my shoulder or across my body but I couldn't say no to it three quid so I am gonna as I said wrap this up and it's gonna be a present from me to me there you go guys that is my my vlog mistake 16 vlog done I have now got to come up with a appropriate title for this video I may just call it my Christmas stocking filler shopping haul because this call it my per temp interview sounds shite to be perfectly honest um so for the rest of the day once i finished oh, i've got a bit of tidying up i need to do make myself some, something to eat even now it is quarter to three but i'm still hungry so i need to have something to, to eat i will then probably edit this vlog so i can get it uploaded for you guys to watch and then i'm just going to kick back this evening find myself something to watch on the tv and if there's nothing to watch on the tv then i'm going to just find some scream queen then i'm just going to find myself some scream queens episodes to watch bit more angons and just enjoy the peace and quiet until jess gets back in five chances are when she gets back she'll be going to bed because she went to birmingham yesterday with her friends because it was a friend's birthday and she got back just after nine went upstairs got her pjs on and then an hour later come back downstairs fully dressed and says charlie's on his way to pick me up i have no idea what time she got in because i went to bed about half eleven she's early for me because the dream but i was tired so i had an early night and uh, obviously i kind of gather she must still be tired because all she said that she wants to do when she gets back which I think she said it was going to be about nine o'clock was go to bed because she really can't wait to get back into her bed so she must have got back in late last night can't really criticize her she is an adult after all okay so that's it thanks again for watching guys i will be back tomorrow no idea what i'm going to do tomorrow or on sunday because according to my vlogmas planner i've just got it down as being weekend so mm, be interesting take care anyway guys enjoy your weekend and for those of you that are lucky enough to have broken up for christmas now enjoy your christmas period make the most of it guys just make the most of it i'll see you tomorrow until then bye for now